What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another weekly roundup of eFootball 2023 news. So I'll keep this short and sweet. We'll get through everything that you're seeing here. So firstly, we will go into Authentic Match. And if there are new events, I will let you guys know. But as far as I know, there is not only the AFC Champions League is still there. And that is ending next Thursday in six days time. And that will probably usher in the new big update that they will be coming in with. Whether they'll have a couple of days of server maintenance or whatever they do as they transition over. Um, we'll have to wait and see on that. And then obviously the Dream Team events. Uh, we have all of these as usual. We have the Italian League that comes in here. And obviously you can get your free player of the week spin on on that with the J League, with the AFC, and we have the Worldwide Club. So the Worldwide Clubs is for your 50 eFootball coins. That is just rinse and repeat from last week. And then we also have the carry on of the Champions League, AFC, and the J League. So they are the events. Um, we also have, of course, the new player packs as well. Uh, so we've got the Liga MX uh, special packs that you see here. You've got Day of the Dead. <clears throat> I thought this was some sort of collaboration with Zack Schneider or something, uh, but that's Dawn of the Dead, so I was getting excited. But we do have the Liga MX Day of the Dead, obviously, which highlights that occasion. Um, and there's some players in here that are probably worth upgrading. I have done a player review on that, so make sure you check it out. It'll be up later on the channel. There's some good players in there. Um, and then also, as well as that, you have your AC Milan epics which are nesta dida and inzaghi again nesta looks massively op and zaghi looks unreal as well you have your player of the week which are all these players here again i've done all of the reviews on these players they will be up on the channel already or they will be coming later in the day uh, as well we've got lev yeshin here as well with the with the hat on uh, he's in a special uh, classic there today. So uh, moving on then from that, we have a couple of other bits and bobs to get through. So going back to the main menu here, and we'll go over to the actual official website. They say that there's a couple of known issues. So if people are purchasing the objective completed, uh, or sorry, if people are purchasing packs such as the Manchester United pack, the AC Milan pack, it's coming up. The message is being uh, displayed, even though the related objective is yet to be completed as just objective completed. So you're not actually completing the objective. It's just displaying the message. And then there's a couple of issues with the user uh, creating match room access uh Another user enters the matchroom, the button displayed at the bottom of the screen will be changed out of the matchroom screen. This has been something that has been an issue for a couple of uh, a couple of weeks now, so um, I'm hoping they fix that, even though I personally haven't run into it. When starting training mode, the camera settings applied are different than the configure settings. Yeah, so they're just defaulting back. And then they also talk about a couple of issues that they are working on. Moving on from that, then they talk about issues with purchasing coins, which won't really uh, make a difference to anyone that is playing free to play. And then we also have the packs here. As I showed you earlier, we have the packs there. There. Um, but going back to the game, lads, I'm going speedy Gonzalez today. Going back to the actual game and to the main menu, we do have another uh, kind of campaign, which is, I won't say hidden, but yeah, there is a couple of stuff here. So obviously they're just uh, the, the bit of news that we had here, but we also have a new uh, update here and a new press release here or statement that isn't on the actual official website uh, itself that we just looked at but it is in game so you've got the eFootball points official website renewal campaign so they're giving you 2000 eFootball points so it's very easy to do it all you do is follow the link um, which is down here it is triangle or Y on the Xbox, triangle on the PS4 or PS5. Uh, they say they're running a campaign where you can earn 2,000 eFootball points. Please refer to the official eFootball uh, official eFootball points website for more information. So when you actually click triangle on that, it will load you in to the official website and it will say 2,000 eFootball points get um campaign period is from now until the first of the 12th and you get 2000 points and all you have to do is click the earn point button on the lower part of the page and log in with your konami id so simply log in here so lads there is actually a problem with the login at the moment it's not letting you claim the points but they are the steps to do it when they do probably fix that it hasn't worked for me anyway um but that is the news roundup for you guys let me know if you are looking forward to the november update N -n november then November update, lads. Sorry. Um, let me know what other games you guys are playing as well. Are you going to be picking up COD? I see that Neymar and Pogba are going to be coming as, as playable characters in, in COD, which is crazy. But anyway, let me know what you guys thought. I'll talk to you later. Peace.